Right now with COVID cases on the rise, school districts are trying to find the balance between educating kids and working hard to keep the community safe. Tough thing these days given COVID and tonight Hamden's Board of Education will consider the superintendent's recommendation to switch to remote learning. This would start on November 23rd and they would stay out of the district's buildings until January 19th. The concern is with numbers going up, the upcoming holidays will only make things worse after starting the school year with a hybrid model back on September 15th. Hamden had to shift a couple of schools to remote learning following some positive tests and the Connecticut Association of Public School Superintendents say districts are trying to find the right balance. We have discussed at length closing after Thanksgiving because there's some worries about um, the need to quarantine large numbers because there'll be family gatherings and so on. I, but what I've heard from superintendents is that they are not going to close um, based upon being concerned. They're going to work with the concern and they're going to close if the data uh, indicates that they have to close. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is alive in Hamden. And Matt, what ends up driving a decision like this? Board of Education. Now, each week, new numbers come into the states. Uh, key metrics like uh, the number of new positive cases per 100,000 people, positivity rates, uh, numbers of hospitalization. That data allows uh, school districts to decide how they are doing. And it's not just uh, sort of looking at Hamden's numbers. You're also looking at uh, New Haven County's numbers here as well. So that allows the districts to make their decisions on uh, whether they want to stay uh, in the current in-school setting, the hybrid setting, or if they are switching to the remote session. Matt, where do those numbers stand right now? Well, the numbers come into the state portal uh, once a week. They get updated on Wednesday. So here in Hamden right now, we're looking at a 1.8% positivity rate. When you expand it out to New Haven County, it's doubled 3.6%. So, you know, right now the county is listed as a moderate risk. At that point, you're sort of reassessing uh, of how you're going to continue on with your education, the learning plan. The thought is if those numbers continue to trend upward, which they are, that's when you might want to cut back on the in-person learning, and that's what something Hamden is dealing with tonight. All right, Matt McFarland reporting for us live from Hamden.